Welcome back to AAR's Realtor Safety Series. I'm Paula Montofer. In our past episodes, we've discussed being professional and staying alert. If you've missed them, please be sure to go back and watch. Today, we're going to discuss how staying systematized in your business practices can help keep you safe. From the very first call or email you receive from a potential client, all the way through to a post-sale check-in, by implementing a system and sticking with it, you can not only run your business more efficiently, but you can keep yourself more safe. That's the first point. The second point is that using forms is actually going to give you more freedom. When you don't have to worry or think about what the next question is or what the next bit of information is that you're trying to get from someone, it gives you the freedom to take in. Is there anything off with their personality? Maybe you'll decide that you don't want to do any showings after a certain point of time. I can't recommend this enough. You can't look at houses in the dark anyway. Very simple, very important. Keep your phone charged. Make sure that it is charged at 100% and make sure that you've got a backup battery for it. That's your connection and that's your lifeline. If you're going to do an open house, consider live streaming it. Have a sign that lets people know the premises are being recorded for safety and training purposes. Something as simple as having a sign out can avert a potential criminal. A really simple tactic that we tend to overlook is the buddy system. Something as simple as bringing someone with you or making yourself available to travel with a colleague can help keep us all more safe. Being systematic in your approach to how you run your business can not only help you run a business more efficiently, but it can help keep you safe. It's a win-win. In our next episode, we'll cover the importance of looking out for yourself. Stay safe, my friends.